Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about circumscribed angles. So a circumscribed angle is just an angle whose sides are tangent to a circle. So if we see our diagram right here on circle A, we have tangent DB and tangent DC. And we can create our central angle, which is angle BAC. And so how do we find the measure of a circumscribed angle? Well, our circumscribed angle is going to be this angle right here where I just put an X. And so to find that, we're just going to take 180 degrees and subtract the measure of the central angle. So our central angle, once again, is right here. So to find the measure of the angle X, we would just do 180 minus that central angle. All right, so let's look at some examples where we apply this theorem. So for number one, very straightforward. We just want to find our, our X uh, degrees that we have uh, in our circumscribed angle. So for this one, we're just going to say X is equal to 180 minus 124. And we're going to get X is equal to 56 degrees. Okay. All right. Now for number two, we are going to have to apply um, a little bit of information here. All right. Now we have our circumscribed angle, it's 42 degrees. So if we were to add in our central angle here, angle BAC, we know that 42 should be equal to 180 minus this angle BAC, right? Okay, now we could solve for that because if we subtract 180, then that's going to give us negative 138 equals negative angle BAC which means angle BAC is equal to a positive 138 degrees. So we could add 138 in there. All right, so now what that's gonna tell us is that's our central angle, okay? So we now know that arc BC, so the measure of arc BC is also 138 degrees because the, the arc there, the minor arc is going to have the same measure as its central angle. So now this angle right here, x degrees, is an inscribed angle. So our inscribed angle theorem tells us that it is half the measure of its intercepted arc. So that means that we're, we'll call this angle E here is going to be equal to one half the measure of arc BC. Okay, well we know arc BC is 138 degrees, so that's going to be angle E is equal to one half of 138. And so that's going to tell us that angle E or X is equal to 69 degrees. Okay. All right. Last example that we're going to look at here. We want to find the measure of arc BD. So this arc right here. All right. Well, we are given two tangents, um, BC and CD. And so we know that if those are both tangents, then this angle that is formed right here is a 90 degree angle. So essentially we have two right triangles here uh, that are going to be congruent to one another. So what we can do is go ahead and solve for our angles up here. Okay, so we just can solve for one of those angles. So let's solve for angle BCA, and then we'll just multiply that by two to get the measure of angle BCD. All right, so we can use our inverse trig ratios here because we have the hypotenuse, which would be 38, and we have a leg of our triangle, which would be 22. So I know if this side AD is 22, then AB is also 22. So if I want to find the measure of angle C, I've got opposite and I've got hypotenuse. So that's going to be inverse sine. Okay, so I'm going to do inverse sine, and I'm going to do 22 divided by 38. So in my calculator... 22 divided by 38 on the inverse sine, and it's going to give me 35.3. So I'm just going to say approximately, so I'll change this equal sign to approximately, and we'll just call it 35 degrees. So now, if BCA is 35 degrees, so that would be right here, 35 degrees, then we know the angle C or ACD is also 35 degrees. So we add those together and we get a measure of 70 degrees for angle B, C, D. Okay, so now we know that would be our circumscribed angle. So to find our central angle, we would do 180 minus 70, and that's going to give us 110. So that means our central angle here, angle B, A, D, is equal to 110 degrees. Well, since that's a central angle, our arc, B, D, has the same measure as the central angle. So we could finish this off by saying the measure of arc BD 
is also equal to 110 degrees. And that is circumscribed angles. <laughs>